Hey guys, it's Madeline again. I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek inside some of the great storybooks that Usborne Books and More has to offer. First, I wanted to feature this one. It's called The Usborne Book of Princess Stories. It's part of our dual reader series. And you'll see once you open up inside why they're called dual readers. Each of these books uh, has a short, simple sentence on the top of each page for your young readers to read, and then a more complicated sentence at the bottom for your grown-ups to read. So you can read just the top sentences and the book will still make sense, or you can read just the bottom sentence and it will still make sense. You could also read all of it together and the story will still make sense. Each one of these books features multiple stories inside. So you can see from the table of contents there are four in this book. We have um, fairy stories, there's farmyard tales. Some of them even come with CDs that your child can listen to the book as they follow along if you have more of an auditory uh, learner in your family. So definitely check those out. They're hardcover books with really thick, glossy, durable pages, so they're going to last a while. This one is called Blue Whale Blues, and it's a really cute story about Blue Whale and his best friend, Penguin. They live under the ocean, and Blue Whale gets upset about certain things because some things just don't go his way. Uh, and Penguin is always there with an encouraging word to tell Whale that it is okay um, and to make some sort of suggestion to make the situation fun again. At the very, very end, the moral of the story is that you can really laugh and have a good time, even if it means laughing at yourself for saying or doing silly things. Uh, we also have Amelia Who Could Fly. Again, another hardback book. Beautifully illustrated book. Uh, it is loosely based on Amelia Earhart. Um, you see the book is really beautiful inside. It teaches perseverance and bravery and being bold and being willing to do things that other people aren't willing to do and to do whatever it takes to achieve your dreams. And the last one I'm going to feature today is called A Tale of Two Beasts. It's another hardback book with paper pages. And it's a really cute story about this little girl who finds this little creature in the woods and decides to take him home and treat him as a pet. So the first half of the book... You get to see it from her side of the story where she finds this poor creature that doesn't have a house. So she decides that she's going to take him home and bathe him and dress him and feed him and make him a little house. Um, but the little creature's not really very happy with this new situation, so he runs away. And after he runs away, she's all upset and she wants to look for him and she can't sleep. And then she's excited because he came back. But then... I wonder why he came back. So the second half of the book is the same story retold from the creature's perspective where it says, you know, he was just hanging out, enjoying life in the woods, and then all of a sudden he gets abducted by this girl. She ties him up, puts him in clothes, puts him in this tiny box that's nowhere near as big as the forest he used to live in, tries to drag him around on a leash. Um, so he runs away, back to his old life. It's a really cute story. Got to pick it up to figure out how it ends. But it's just a perfect example of how there's two sides to every story and that everybody's feelings and everybody's side of the story needs to be considered in certain situations to be fair and to make sure that everybody has a good time. I really love these storybooks. They're all beautifully, beautifully illustrated. They'd be great for bedtime. I hope you guys will pick them up for the little readers in your life.